Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create assembly drawings in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with the US environment. Now I'm going to create column. So click on street and select this column. And for example, click on here to place the column and zoom it and click on here to place another column. Right click on once you interrupt. And now I'm going to place the beam between these two columns. So select this beam and pick the first position at end of this column and point and pick the second point end of this second column like this now right click on the interrupt now we're going to give, to give the connection between column to beam so click on here application components or you can use the shortcut control f and in such word type number 141 you'll get this clip angle component connection so select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam to create the connection between column to beam and close this window and zoom it now we're going to give the same connection at here so select the main column and pick the beam to create the connection between column to beam right click on the center click on space right click on the center you can see you will get like this about this editing about this component i have clearly explained in my previous video so Please go to my channel and watch it at this time. Now we are going to concentrate on assembly drawing. So I am going to create numbering. So go to drawings and click on your profile numbering and select this number modified objects. Now we are going to create assembly drawing for this beam. So select this beam, right click on mouse, create drawing and assembly drawing. You can see one drawing created successfully. So go to the drawing list by using the shortcut control L or otherwise you can click on here drawings and reports and uh, click on here document manager to open the drawing list. Now we have the drawing here you can see B1 and type A, A indicates the assembly drawing. Now, so double click on this drawing to open. Now close the window here after open the drawing. You can see by default you will get like this. Now we're going to adjust the dimensions and part marks and everything. So zoom it here. And this is the total assembly length. You can see 13 feet 7, 3 by 4. And this is the gap uh, between the beam to this angle. Now I'm going to place this again. So select it and delete one. And this is the running dimension or from beam to edge of this beam here now now we're going to place the part mark for this beam so select this beam right click on mouse add mark and apply you can see now we have the part mark b1 okay now we're going to place the dimension between or this gap or you can place the beam to edge of this angle distance so click on dimensioning and set this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point edge of this angle and click on here to place the dimension press the scroll middle button to place the dimension right click on must interrupt now click on here and place upward direction little bit like this and just select the dimension and use the left mouse key to adjust the position up and down like this okay now we're going to place the part marks for this angle so drag and select this angles so right click on mouse add mark and apply you can see now we have two angles one is near side uh, one is far side so we need to mention near and far side in the part mark so select the part mark and double click on this part mark and uh, click on this fittings and click on add then click on modify apply ok you can see now we have n by s indicates the near side angle this indicates the far side so double click on this angle and select this fits fittings and click on add click on modify apply ok now click on it and adjust the position you can see use the left mouse key just press it and drag the position like this if you want to move entire with the arrow select the part mark and use the hold the shift and left mouse key to uh, change the entire part mark position okay you can see this is the indicates near side and this is the far side of this angle now coming to here here also we need to do the same thing so click on this off edge and delete it 
if you want to create the running dimension so select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at here and press the scroll button to place the dimension you can see now we have the normal dimension at this location but if you require the running dimension double click on it and click on here and we need to select the third one one two three fourth one running dimension then click on modify apply okay you can see now we have the running dimension like this okay for example we're going to place the dimension at here so select it horizontal distance pick the first point here second point here and use the press press the scrolling button to place the dimension like this this is the running dimension but we require normal dimension at this location so double click on it and you need to select the first one then click on modify apply ok to place the normal dimension like this so give the part mark here drag and select it and right click on mouse add mark and apply it now we have the near side part mark here and hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position and use the only left mouse key to adjust the position without moving this arrow like this okay now coming to the section here so select this arrow and you can adjust up and down hold the left mouse key and this is the level beam level top level you can see elevation 20 feet is the top level of this beam so we need to place like this now coming to here under section we have the part mark here hold the shift and adjust the position hold the shift and left mouse key to adjust the position like this now this is the whole dimension and this is the top of beam to first pole distance we require this distance and we require this distance is enough so remove this trend off and click on here and drag to place the position nearby it like this if you want to move the section view so click on this border and you can drag and place the position wherever you want this is the top view now we have the top view at this location so remove these dimensions now give the part mark of this beam select it right click on mouse add mark and apply it like this now we're going to give the part mark at here so select it right click on mouse add mark and apply it for this angle here Similarly, we are going to give this angle part mark also. Like this. Similarly, give the part mark for this both angles. Like this. Now, if you want to give the dimension, you can give here or from edge of this edge of this angle to this beam half inch and in this side also from click on here first point and pick the second point and place it now from beam edge to first angle edge is the half inch now we need to give the welding symbol at this location between this angle to beam so go to annotations click on annotations and select this weld mark and click on here and pick the second position here to place the weld mark like this double click on it for example we require around weld so select this around weld then click on modify to create the around weld if you want to change the weld size you can change from here now click on modify apply ok like this in this side and in this side also same so let's take here weld symbol and drag it and place like this this is the section view and this is the front view and this is the top view of the section assembly drawing okay we have the bill of material about this material so part marks and quantity and everything in the bill of material you can see b11 and a1 for quantity and profiles and length and weight and everything we have at this location
use the shortcut control s for save it and close this window here okay that's it about how to create assembly drawing for this beam if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you